Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. Do you remember, are you aware of, those moments when the penny has dropped? When there's something that you've been looking at or thinking about, wrestling with, and at last you've realised what it is or, or how to do it or how to overcome it. Oh, that's what it is. That, I see, those moments. The penny has dropped. Well, it's not uncommon to all of us to have those kinds of moments. Penny has dropped moments. It wasn't uncommon to, for people in Jesus' time too. In fact, the disciples took quite a long time before the penny dropped as to who Jesus is and what he was saying to them. He, they spend practically three years with him before they, they really realise who he is and what's going on and what's happening around them. Well, I suppose that's understandable because all of a sudden they were faced with things not of this world, but eternal spiritual things. It takes a lot to, to get used to those things. They were ordinary men, fishermen, carpenters, shepherds, and they tax collectors, and they didn't really grasp everything that he was talking to them about. In John's Gospel, we see this happening. Jesus has been explaining things to them over the time. And verse in John's, John's Gospel, chapter 16, verse 31, he says, You believe at last, as they un gradually understand what it is that he's saying to them and who he is. And he goes on to say in verse 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Well, that still would have been difficult for them to understand. What does he mean, I have overcome the world? But it should have been encouraging to them as well when he says that he has overcome the world and he has come to bring them peace. Peace is the opposite of those that stress we were talking about yesterday. Peace is what we could all do with do with at times. Peace is something that we need in our lives, when we can relax and be at peace with ourselves and with the world around us. And Jesus comes to bring us that peace because we can look to him, we can turn to him and know love and friendship and kindness and peace. One day Jesus will put an end to all of our troubles. Until then, we bask in his peace in this world. And to add something to that, not only do we bask in it, enjoy it for ourselves, it's something that we should also share with others. It's no good really, is it, just being given something nice and just enjoying it for yourself. You want others to enjoy it with you. You want to be able to share it with them. Don't you? I hope so. Because that's how we really enjoy something, by sharing it with others and see other people's enjoyment. So, Jesus comes to bring us peace. Do we come to bring peace to others? Do you bring peace to others when you're shopping? Do you let them go in front of you, if need be? If you're queuing with a big basket full of things in the supermarket and someone comes along with a, a small hand basket, do you let them go in front of you because it will be easier for them? Do you bring peace to them that way? If you're driving your car and someone wants to come out of a side turning, do you let them out? Are you kind to them? Do you shed peace with them? There's lots of different ways we can share peace with others. Jesus came to bring us peace, which is wonderful. We must share it with others. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now.